How's it going, my friends? God bless you. Thank you for taking time out of your day to join me for wonderful times with augments. Yes, this is what I live for in this game. I have grinded so hard to get these augments, we're going to use them. So, uh, one of the augments that I had for a long time with Sonya was this turret augment and it's always kind of given me trouble to try and use it but i feel like i've finally created like a perfected version of sonya's turret to just get you easy wins easy wins um uh, oh boy okay let's see is this thing working can i hear myself easy wins, easy wins. Um, uh, oh boy, okay, let's see, is this thing working? Okay, it's working. Yay, alright, okay, so, um, hi there, my name is David, Dave, the Jaded Rabbit, whatever have you, really, honestly, truly, thank you from the bottom of my heart for, for joining along for, yes, knowledge, w really, I feel knowledge is power, and this is what I try to do with these videos, with these augment builds, try and share the knowledge so that everyone can have fun times with these augments. So what we are doing today is looking at Sonya and some of her character specific Jinseis and uh, uh, Dragon Blood augments to get really fancy wins using this little guy here, this little turret deal. Yes, um, I think that if you like having things like Cassie's drone, you would perhaps enjoy having things like uh, Sonya's turret, because you can just use the turret to fight for you instead of actually doing anything, <laughs> instead of doing anything. But I think that perhaps we should take a look at Sonya without the augments first just to get a basic understanding of this move but thank you so much for joining along winston rambo main hallucination gaming uh, gary snails uh, rabbit can you do a soul build for collector um i feel like farming with rambo is the best is the best. Thank you for dusting her off. I need to do her character towers. Oh, okay. All right, Rambo. Yes, um, yes, I think that y you should be doing the character towers for every character. They're in the game. You paid for it. Might as well experience the content. That's how, that's how I feel about it. Okay, so with the specific abilities you have to have equipped, you need the summon cat turret ability Plus, you need Turret Tantrum, which gives you access to a bunch of special moves for the turret. So what we are going to be looking at today is summoning the turret plus the Leaping Turret. The Leaping point five zero Cal. This move is associated with a brutality. So we're going to be using some augments to try and get some brutalities off of this move. But this move is pretty, like, it's hard to use. I feel like without the augments, it's very limited in what it can really do. It takes so long for it to start up. That initial startup is 66 frames. 65 recoveries. So tough. And then you have to really get that move off quickly if you don't have any fancy augments. And you only get one bullet. So this move, using it in combat league, in PvP, it's just easily punishable and uh, this is what we need to kind of work with in order to try and make a super build with Sonya. So this is what it looks like without augments pretty weak. So that was my problem with using Sonya and her augments prior to combat pack 2. There was no real like way you could really use that move throughout the whole match because it is very punishable. But with the addition of lucky blows, luckality augments, of suddenly like a whole new level of like augment building comes into play. So we are trying to really create like a complementary effect with Sonya, trying to get these augments to really pop off. Okay, so let's summon. Ah! Eek! 
<laughs> oh, Cassie. Oh, she got me good. All right, so. Eek. Eek, eek, eek. Eek. So, difficulties. I think I need to make some augment swaps. Cassie is a particularly hard number, especially with all of her bullets that goes through the armor. Uh, the armor. But, uh, she's almost got me. Oh, I think, oh, I think, I think we're just toasted. <gasps> oh no, crud, 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 crud. So yes, as you can see, yeah, trying to use this in efficient ways is hard. Especially against some opponents with those multi-hit projectiles. Totally not gonna work for, like, characters like Rambo, Frost, Spawn. They've all got those insane multi-hit moves. So we do need to make some augment swaps, which is why I haven't really talked about the augments yet. Because really, this build, I think there is pretty much one conclusion you can come to with using Sonya in this thing. Mainly because it's so hard to use. So I feel like the best way of using Sonya, you've got to have some sort of unblockable effect so we're running here running on empty natural 20 we've also got armor clad and in good repair because these moves they're taking so long to start up and they are easily punished so we need to have armor clad in good repair but we've also got breath of life so this is really what i think is the conclusion that we need to come to well, relying on damage boost is just not necessary when you've got things like luckality so let's redo this now with breath of life we should have different situations here so let's take miss sonia uh, yes let's go very hard uh, yes yeah, so we are trying to make builds to take us through the very hardest of situations so this is what i think i've done here with miss sonia all right so let's summon turret Okay, alright, so the locality triggered better there, but mm, with Breath of Life, it makes the build a little bit more safe. You'll see when it when we actually get into situation like we did with Cassie before. If we had the Breath of Life, we should have had that equipped. But yeah, it's really essential to see that with some of these builds, going for damage boosting augments, totally not necessary, which is odd. Which is very odd. All right, so this is where Breath of Life is going to come into handy. Ah! Ah! Oh, he he's throwing me. All right, okay, so Breath of Life is giving us a little bit of easiness. Eek. eek! Eek, 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 Lots of playing around there, but if you do get the match, like, out of hand, it's easy to kind of get the momentum back in your favor, even on these very hard situations, with that one augment swap, which is so crazy. So yes, this is the power of Breath of Life, as well as the natural 20 and running on empty. You're able to just get through the match, even though you probably should not be able to. Okay, so... Ah, the armor break! I did not realize that was armor breaking. Turns out you really need to teabag.
Eek! Eek! But that breath of life, wow! That's so nice! Ah! Ah! Eek! Eek! So the breath of life really comes in handy there, but it allows you to get wins with this move that you probably should not be able to. This thing is so hard to pull off usually, but thankfully, we've got the Luckality Augment, which makes it all the much more easier to do. But mind you, this is very hard Survivor Towers. Nothing is that hard in single-player Towers of Time at all so this is this is really so nice all right so um let's see what you guys are saying oh boy rambo main um trash ter term and shang god bless you thank you so much guys for joining along what's in the shop today yes rambo has answered this yes there's nothing in the shop today but here we've got sonya and i feel like this is really allowing this move to work in ways that it should not work. So I like these things to handle the hardest of situations. So we saw Sonya getting through very hard towers on Survivor. Those difficulties are not representative of what you face in single player. So hopefully we'll have like an easier time about this. Okay, all right. Takes a couple of uses, but it works. Which is nice. Very, very nice. I'm happy that this thing actually has a purpose now. Because the augments that are being used here to create effects are some pretty rare ones too for Sonya. Sometimes you might get like one of these Elder Rank Jinsei Essence Augments and it's kind of hard to like figure out the use for it or how to properly use it, but we've got very nice and easy ways of taking on Liu Kang. Although I feel like this is perhaps one of the harder harder moves to pull off in co-op in single player mainly because you're relying on two things you've got to summon the turret and then you've got to use the move so uh, the move that we're using is downtown down down two so this down down two I, I unfortunately all i can do is is the is the tea bag so this is what we're doing tea bags with sonia but tea bagging seems to be getting you to easy wins oh boy all right so uh let's see the comments let's see what you guys are saying um jade main oh no i hope i'm not late oh no that's okay um we are just uh, trying to get ourselves some easy wins with sonia But we're also trying to be really safe throughout this 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 match. Cause the idea is that you can use this to get through well, co-op towers. I would not recommend this for stage six towers. This would be a little difficult. Eek. 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 It's just so effective though against these well. There, uh, there's like a scale of different difficulties. So I would say that co-op is probably on the, the hot, like you're getting up there in difficulty. Like tag battles are pretty hard. Team raids are a little harder. But then there's lucky towers, which are even harder. And then stage six, which is like, I think is the hardest. But then you've also got like varying AI difficulty enemy AI difficulty. I think the enemy AI in co-op is just a little bit 
easier in comparison to classic survivor towers putting that thing on very hard just it seems to make them into like the ais you would face in lucky towers those ais are particularly hard but you can deal with them with these luckality augments which is nice so let's take along sonia into this match with jackie and hopefully we can get ourselves another easy win Please stay away. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh boy, alright. Okay, so uh, you're seeing lots of hits coming off from that turret. So essentially, every time you go for the down down two, you're getting five little bullets, each with the chance to do a brutality. So eventually, one of these things is going to get the opponent. But it really requires you to have good rhythm and timing with the tea bags apparently because you can be stuck in recovery there's like a long recovery with that turret to use it again so you could like hypothetically go for another projectile like the back forward square to do an energy ring while you're also doing the fancy the fancy turret bullets so there is multiple ways of using this but i feel like really you can't think about damage like amplification which makes it a, like a hard build to use in stage six this thing in stage six is very difficult to pull off okay so uh All right, so as you saw there, you can use the turret in multiple ways. So what I was trying to do was going for the turret move plus the energy rings. So you can actually get multiple ways of brutalitying the opponent because you've got the energy ring brutality, but you've also got the five bullets each from the turret giving a chance for brutality. So what we're really doing here is combining two ways of getting brutalities with Sonya in one. But this is like lots of like button pressing. It also requires really good timing. It was kind of like... <laughs> Not gonna lie, kind of impressed I was able to actually do that. I'm happy. Yes, so yes, you've got to do like the, the tea bag plus the back forward square. This is what we're doing. Oh boy, it just happens automatically. Oh, I was hoping I could do my fancy button pressing. But the build is lucky. It really does feel like this one, you'll feel the luck more often because it's harder to keep up that constant stream of bullets. Because, yeah, when the, the turret is firing, you're actually free to do other things. So you could go for, like, an energy ring, or if you're better with Sonya, go for a combo. <laughs> go do something. It's nice that the turret here with Sonya is free and able to move without you whereas with cassie if you're controlling her drone suddenly you're stuck frozen in spot and the drone does all the attacks but here both uh, there's more of like a better effect to teamwork between sonya and her turret but yes i would really not recommend this kind of build for trying to get through stage six Stage 6, this thing is very easily punished, and like trying to account for all of the modifiers here happening, not so hot, not so good. So if you are trying to get through Stage 6 and your first Elder Ranked Augment for Sonya on Stage 6 is this like... 
is this um uh, this turret augment uh, try and find other uses for it and try and use a different build to get through stage six using the modifiers your own consumables that's probably the quickest way of dealing with any and every stage six character tower but let's take a little like look see at the augments so the one augment that we're using here called suppressing fire this thing is a mythic ranked i believe let's see i believe it's mythic ranked no, it's mortal ranked. So the su the summon cat augment is really allowing you to have the turret on the field for four times the amount of regular time, I believe. I don't know. I don't know if that math is right. <laughs> 200%, 100% is a doubling. So 200% is like a quadrupling, right? I think... I'm not sure. I can't do math. But really, you're getting the turret on the field for a longer amount of time, so that's like a lot of time that you can be firing those bullets. The other augment that we're using here with Sonya is the cat overload augment. This thing is elder ranked, very rare, and hard to use. As you saw at the beginning, in those very hard situations, especially against opponents with multi-hit projectiles, like Cassie, her amplified, like, dual wielding, I think that's four hits? I think that's four hits. And then there's Amplified Frost Blade Spin. That's 11 hits. This, you know, it gets really hard to pull off some of these, like, things against those kinds of opponents. Especially when this augment seems to be geared for zoners, for projectiles. Because you're getting four extra bullets with every attack. So we were only using the down down 2, which is the leaping turret, but there's all sorts of other ways that you could be using this with the mortar blast, with the low turret, um, but w we were only using the one move because the one move is what gives you the brutality. There's also another brutality with the the tantrum attack, but it's only one hit, whereas this overload gives you five hits with the leaping turret so yes this this elder ranked augment i think it didn't really have a good use prior to combat pack 2 but with the addition of this luckalities augment this thing becomes super powerful if you're able to maintain that stream of bullets you can get that instant kill um also if you can get the energy rings off too in between each of the bullets that's like a pro way of playing this build i feel oh and look i have glitched augments this was one of the good augments for sonya plus 4.5 percent global damage plus 10 percent physical resist wow i can't believe i have yeah i wish they had more old system augments in the game and that would be nice that would be very nice so uh, really since we need to be standing around with the turret and since we need to be getting all of these bullets off this is why we have armor clad and in good repair this allows you to really just stand around on the field and throw off lots of bullets and energy rings but we've also got here running on empty natural 20 this is giving you like that unblockable effect and if you're able to get the rhythm of this move down right with using this move plus another move or a combo you should be well set in getting lots of easy wins with Sonya in these like two round matches um, I think we should probably take a look at her in lucky towers because the other augments that I have equipped might not become clear like that breath of life augment there is super purpose in it and i guess depending on the difficulty of the situation you could swap it out for other things but i feel it is very much necessary against these like harder opponents so we're gonna take sonya here against uh-oh <laughs> against joker hopefully he doesn't have fire immunity Okay, so we gotta we gotta get into the match. Oh boy! So this is one drawback of the build right off the bat. If you get matched up with a fire resistance or a fire immunity, your move is not going to be doing damage because all of these turret attacks they are fire damages. Ah! No, please! 
<laughs> okay, all right. So I think the luckality triggers just naturally more in Lucky Towers because you've got that mechanic of good luck and bad luck going on, which I think has something to do with the instances of how well this thing works. But I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of, like, um anecdotal evidences that people have provided about luck luck in general but i think luck is just something that's ambiguous and hard to define at this point um that's why i pray to r and jesus oh wow jade oh no jade ah, she got me oh i am dead Okay, so that's why we had the Breath of Life. All right, we did it. Lovely. So I'm glad that we got to show off there why we have the Breath of Life equipped. This move is something that I think will inevitably get punished. Especially, like, Jade. She's got there the Deadly Butterfly, plus the Wiggle Stick. All of these things are multi-hit moves. And that'll go easily through your armor as you're trying to summon the turret. It's just so tough. So tough. So you gotta really watch out for those situations. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Oh, but this gives you good practice with Sonya. Just trying to, like, figure out how she moves, how to block as, as Sonya. Because, yes, learning to block is definitely something that that I struggled with learning in the game. Um, especially when you like to stand far away and throw racer rings. Um, but, yes, you really do need to figure out how to block appropriately with Sonya when using this build, because it's the only way to get your health back. Alright! Yay! So yes, this is what these Luckality Augments, I feel, were created for. They were created for these Lucky Towers to get you through these towers. However, you do need to keep in mind that this is a Fire-type move. It will be immune against certain characters, like Liu Kang. He commonly has a Fire immunity, as well as Robocop, or Shiva, or Jax. You gotta look out for these things, because they could be immune immune to your attacks like yeah robocop that that's that's not a good matchup same with Jax. maybe sometimes they might have like poison immunities which is odd but yes fire immunities are kind of common in in these matchups scorpion how could i forget him he's fire dude number one but yes you can really have yourself some good times with sonya and i think the fun thing about using a build like this is that while the turret is attacking you are free to do your own thing so like i was trying to throw in some energy rings in there but if you know a combo you can totally go for a combo while your turret is like attacking too which is just just very intriguing that you can have two ways of attacking the opponent 
on the on the on the field on the match on the stage it's really insane okay so let's take a look at the comments thank you so much guys for joining along love you so much okay so um uh, lots of grinding rng oh easy ways of getting natural 20 well natural 20 is one of the rarer dragon blood augments my friend and i would say that just some persistence in doing co-op towers every day should be able to get you natural 20 um let's see the champ is here hey everybody time for more generic augments grinding nice bk hi dave do you have all skins i do yes rng is atrocious but you'll eventually get it i'm sure if i was able to do it so can you okay so uh rambo omg hashtag sonia is a m okay wow all right omg the cat is like a little spider no wonder you love it yes i do love my little buggies they are adorable with devora haven't been playing co-op like i mean not co-op uh ranked pvp combat league lately but i think I think we will be getting into more combat league this season. I've got to get myself in in gear to try and rank up, I guess. I guess. All right. So, um, uh, mm, mm, mm. so yes, if you're here at this part of the video, a like, a comment, a subscribe would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Before we take one more look at the augments, um, augment options, where to get them, um, I would highly encourage you to leave a like, a comment, a subscribe, because it really helps out with the channel. Um, um, even when you leave comments after the video goes up, that's lovely too. But thank you, my friends in the live stream chat for like turning on the notification bells and joining along. I hope that you enjoyed this build with Sonia. If you do have her augments, let me know what you think of it. But um, do you consider joining the members club because it really helps out with the channel so, so much. Allows me to spend time doing these videos making them making these builds because honestly making the builds trying to make them work in a consistent manner is tough sometimes especially with something like this this one was really hard to do really hard to pull off but i think i figured out the strategy and the augments um but yes thank you thank you thank you my dear brothers and sisters in the bunny family love you so much champier rambo main God bless you. Um, so, okay, so I think, like, we have, like, a new, like, <sighs> if you want, like, a, like a special request. I know, Rambo, you sent me one. I, I need to work on it. But if any of you guys in the club want, like, special requests, let me know. I'll tailor something special for you. But, uh, you know, or sometimes I get inspired. So this is what happened with this one. We've got a sing song. So here's a sing song. Okay. <clears throat> when I spar with Cider Mike, I get feelings that I can't describe. Mirror matches for life. Come with Jaden, take a ride. I thought I had the game. I thought I could just run away. But now you're blocking all my projectiles And you punish my purple glow Jade will mix you up and be versatile This is the last ring that I throw Oh boy, I love that song. Okay, alright. So yes, yes, Mike, I hope you love that. But yes, these are the augments, and as you see here, we've got no fancy augments to boost our damage. I think that this is like a concept... 
I think that this is like a new kind of concept for build making because like a lot of the time previously it's like how how is this build going to carry me through co-op how is it going to work sometimes you can't get that with some of these moves some of these augments so this is really I feel marking like a difference in the in the in the build ways that we make things <laughs> this is also a very powerful build too that could be applied to many characters um uh, but i think that the rarest augments here are for sure for sure running on empty natural 20 in good repair breath of life these are all elder ranked generic augments in good repair it's uncommon as an el like an elder drop breath of life is more rare as an elder drop it's a very good augment because it'll get you through these hard situations just blocking which you can totally do with natural 20 and running on empty. Not only does it make all of your special moves essentially unblockable, it makes all of your blocks into flawless blocks that heal you up so that you can throw out more of these little turret bullets. But I think the key is really trying to figure out that rhythm of how to use the turret plus an additional move. So, like, I was going for the energy ring, because the energy ring takes advantage of all of the other generic augments that we've got equipped. You're getting that unblockable energy ring. As well, you've got the chance of brutality with all of these moves. So, really trying to use these two moves in tandem, I think, is perhaps the best way of going about it. But you could just throw up turret bullets and block, relying on breath of health. So, there's multiple ways of of using this but if your first sonya elder ranked augment is cat overload i think that you need to really consider using this build because i know for some people like all you're going to do is that first stage six clear and this might be the augment that you get so it, really trying to use the augments using what you got i think this is the best way of doing it but yes it, it, it might be hard to get all of these augments if not at level four just at all running on empty natural 20 in good repair they're just so good is so so good but no i really think that this is probably the only way to like build sonya but if you have suggestions about this uh, turret action do you let me know I'm always happy to read your comments um i like sit down one day i read them in bulk and then I just have, like, a good time responding to comments. Absolutely love that. Um, but, yes, I'm hoping that you have fun with Sonya. Let's see what you guys are saying. Um, make sure I'm not missing anything. Steps! Hey, Ross! How's it going? Oh, thank you for joining along. Jonah, I see I'm not the only Rain fan here. Okay, cool. Alright, so love you guys so, so much. I hope that you're having, like, lots of fun with the game. Do you remember there's a crypt event coming up so soon? But you should be hearing from me tomorrow. Yes, thank you for joining along. God bless you. But please, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Bye, my friends. Take care. Peace. Love you guys.